Hey everyone, Scoop Sinus here. I got a bag of grapes and a microwave. So let's do it. So if you haven't already connected the dots by reading the title and from that intro there, uh, a grape in a microwave can produce plasma. So there are two ways you can do it with grapes. So if you get just two grapes and put them together so they're touching, you can produce plasma that way. Or another way is you cut a grape in half, leaving just a bit of the skin connected like that, and you can put that in there. Uh, so I'm going to demonstrate this first, um, and then I will kind of explain how this this how this happens, when why why it happens. So let's do it first. Alright, uh, I have to apologize, it's really hard to see into this microwave as you can see, reflections over here. Um, so we're getting as close as we can to the screen there, but there's half a grape in there, I'll chuck just 20 seconds on, and go for it. You should be able to see the plasma anyway. Yeah, <laughs> look at that. It just turned into a into a mush. Very warm, very hot. But yeah, that is plasma from a grape. Now I'm gonna explain how this thing works uh, as best as I can and as simply as I can. All right. So the basic way this actually works is with a microwave. Uh, the frequency of that wave is about 12 centimeters, uh, give or take. And the cool thing about grapes is the index of refraction uh, with microwaves in these is about 10. So when the microwave passes through the grape, the frequency of the wave becomes about 1.2 centimeters, which is roughly the same size of a grape. Now, the reason why you can't just put a grape inside the microwave without cutting it first is because the microwaves, when they enter the grape, they become trapped inside of it due to its high refractive index. And with the waves inside the grape, they form resonant modes or a standing wave. Basically, this is just how the waves like to oscillate inside the grape. And then this results in the maximum electromagnetic field being in the center of the grape. So this is important because if you were to put two grapes together inside a microwave, you begin to get, uh, well, as they get closer together, you begin to get interaction between the electromagnetic fields. And then when they touch, the place at which the greatest electromagnetic field is, is at the point of contact. And so that's why it can work with a grape being cut in half, because you're breaking that border where the waves would usually bounce, and there's that point of contact with that being cut, because you leave a little bit of skin there. And so again, at that point of contact, the electromagnetic fields are actually strong enough to break down the air and ionize it to produce plasma. All right, so that just about does it for the explanation. Uh, hopefully that has made sense, but let's go see some more grapes produce plasma in a microwave. After a uh, 
plate full of cut grapes in the microwave. Uh, I think we got some pretty good stuff. My favorite one was definitely like, it was two times when um, like a uh, big, big um, lick of plasma and then at one point it danced around the top of the roof. Um, yeah, now uh, a warning if you're gonna do this yourself, these things stink a lot. Um, that's probably the only warning I have. Oh, actually, don't use your home microwave because um, you might damage it, might break it. But otherwise, uh, if you did enjoy this video, then please consider subscribing. But until then, we'll see you next time.